my retro maps to make sure I know where all these shops are. So in the light world, there's shop next to Link's house. There's a cack shop. Um, and then there's Paradox Cave Shop. That's three. And then the other ones, there's <clears throat> Darkwood Lumberjack House. There's Hammer House and Village of Outcasts. There's the, the Dark World Secret Shop to the right of Village of Outcasts. Um, the house to the right of Bomb Shop. And then next to Super Bunny Cave on Dark Death Mountain. So, nine shops in total. these release notes. Okay, multi-world supported shop sanity added. This adds 32 shop locations. The general location pool. <sighs> Hold up. Oh, Potion Shop has items, and also Capacity Upgrade Fairy has items. So, so nine, nine shops plus Potion Shop and Capacity Fairy. Item pool changes to accommodate the new locations. The new items are added to the pool as follows. Ten red potion refills. Nine packs of ten bombs. Four small hearts. Four blue shields. One red shield. One B one 10 arrows, one green potion refill, one blue potion refill, and uh, a bomb and capacity, an arrow capacity upgrade. <coughs> Initially, one of each type of potion refill is shuffled to shops. Capacity fairy is excluded from this. See step four. This ensures that potions can be bought somewhere. So that's really cool. So you can still guarantee buy potions somewhere. The rest of the shop pool is shuffled with the rest of the item pool. At this time, only 10 bombs, 10 airs, capacity upgrades, small hearts, and the non-progressive shields can appear outside of shops. Any other shop items are replaced with rupees of various amounts. This is because of one reason potion refills and the B are indistinguishable from bottles with that item in them. Receiving those items without a bottle or empty bottle is essentially a nothing item but looks like a bottle. Note the non-progressive shields interact fine with progressive shields. You never get downgraded, but are usually also a nothing item most of the time. Four, the capacity fairy cannot sell potion refills because the graphics are incompatible. 300 rupees will replace any potion refill that ends up there. Uh, for capacity upgrades, if any shop sells capacity upgrades, then it will sell all seven of that type. Otherwise, if plain bombs or arrows are sold somewhere, then the other six capacity upgrades will be purchasable first at those locations and then replaced by the underlying ammo. If no suitable spawn is found, then no more capacity upgrades will be available for that seed. There's always one somewhere. And then any shop item that is originally sold by shops can be bought indefinitely, but only the first purchase counts toward total checks on the credit screen and item counter. All other items can only be bought once. All items in the general item pool may appear in shops. This includes normal progression items and dungeon items in the appropriate key sanity settings. Price pricing guide. Major progression. Hammer, hookshot, mirror, flute, boots, samaria, fire rod, ice rod. Base price, 250. Typical range, 125 to 250. Moon pearl, 100 to 200. Lamp, bows, gloves, and swords, 75 to 150. Medallions are 50 to 100. Safeties or fetch quest items, 
Cape, Mushroom, Shovel, Powder, Bug Net, Burna, Armors, Shields, Half Magic, 25 to 50 rupees. Uh, bottles uh, range from 25 to 80, depending upon the contents. Uh, health, heart containers, uh, 20 to 40, sank heart, 25 to 50, piece of heart, 5 to 10. Dungeon items, big keys, 25 to 50, small keys, 15 to 30. Uh, info maps, 10 to 20, and then everything else, 5 to 10. Green rupees are free in the shop. Blue rupees cost 2, reds cost 5 to 10, 50 rupees cost 15 to 25, 100 cost 25 to 50, 300 cost 75 to 150. Right, so pretty much buying a rupee in a shop will always net you more money, no matter what. Three bombs cost 10 to 15 rupees, single arrow cost 3 rupees. Rupee balancing algorithm. <clears throat> Uh, to prevent needed, needed grinding for rupees to buy things in Sphere 1 and later, a money balancing algorithm has been developed to counteract the need for rupees. Basic logic, it assumes you buy nothing until you are blocked by a shop, a check that requires money, or blocked by Kiki. Then you must have enough to make all purchases. If not, any free rupees encountered may be swapped with higher denominations that have not been encountered. Ammo may also be swapped if necessary. Checks that require money are Bottle Merchant, King Zora, Digging game, chess game, blacksmith, anything blocked by Kiki. Uh, a EG olive pod when no entrance shuffle. Cool hand rooms are not in logic. Cool hand room is not in logic, but the five dungeon rooms that provide rupees are. Pots of rupees, the arrow game, and all other gambling games are not counted for determining income. Currently, this is applied to seats without shop sanity on. Um, so early money is slightly more likely if progression is on a check that requires money, even if shop sanity is off. And then retro and shop sanity combined add nine extra locations because the take any caves uh, are converted into take both caves. So that's cool. Um, neat. That's a lot of info. We're going to keep this page up. <laughs> um, LTTPR. Crisscross Rando with Stop Sanity? Alright. When does the action start? Soon TM. Hold on. I have something for you guys. Can be preemptively. Like if we start doing it too much, when we breathe in heavily, she'll just like she's ready for it. Even if it doesn't happen. <laughs> Smart doggy. Um 
Uh, at shop sanity. That's already a command, isn't it? Nope. Adcom shop sanity. I really got my lip. I'm pretty sure I broke the skin. backseat me hell yeah I probably need it Barb because we're doing some new shit that I've never done before so you know backseat away my friend <laughs> um okay check Hera before before I Your chat, man. I love it. Like 90% of the information people were spewing at you was just absolutely incorrect. And I love it. I love Twitch chat, man. <laughs> uh, anyways. Let's change my tracker. Glad you had fun, though. Also, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, I think Aghanim being required for Dark World access is like a 3% chance. And it's pretty close to a 50-50, whether it's Cape or Master Sword lock. Master Sword doesn't really give you that much more progression over Cape in that situation. So it's probably about a 50-50 if Aghanim's required. Whether it's uh, cape locked or not, but <laughs> of course, you know the one seed that you decide to do. Uh, yeah, there's another situation um, that gets a lot of people when it happens to them for the first time is getting like Dark World access from Aghanim and then needing to. There's like the top right path from the pyramid to get to. Uh, like the hookshot spot to get to like Skull Woods and Thieves Town in that area. Uh, but if you have the flippers, you can jump in the water and swim up under the bridge um, or under where there would be a bridge to get to that hookshot spot. And like nobody ever thinks of that when they're playing or when it happens to them for the first time. Uh, <laughs> that's That's another good one. Yeah, you did a good job, dude killed like six bosses with a fighter sword gamer put on your gamer pants um okay i need to make a seed um so yeah this seed is um you're just coming in this is a uh we like to call a crisscross seed um I need to open up my patch thing. Uh, which is a combination of Crossworld Key Sanity, which is an overworld entrance shuffle, plus a dungeon item shuffle. So any entrance can be anywhere. Um, Multi-exit caves can actually be a portal between the light world and the dark world. Um, so like, you know, I find Hyrule Castle, going out a different Hyrule Castle entrance could be my access to, like, Death Mountain or the Dark World or something like that. 
Um, this also is going to have Shop Sanity, where all nine shops plus the Potion Shop and Capacity Upgrade Fairy can have key items purchasable with money. Um, and then this also has Cross Dungeon Door Shuffle, which is the rooms inside of the dungeon are all shuffled. Um, <laughs> so I hope you're ready for a fun time. <laughs> um, okay. It's really fun. I, I'm a big I'm a big fan of the dungeon door shuffle. Um, it just adds so much. Barb will do it again when I challenge him to uh, a good ending Link to the Past Rando plus, or a, a Link to the Past Rando plus good ending Grand Pool World 2 race. Yeah, Key Sanity is probably the next one where it just shuffles the dungeon items. Hello. Why is this not working? <clears throat> this is an initial test? Uh, no, this is not an, an initial test. It should be functional. Um, uh, Olgenthar, thanks for the gift sub to the Envy. My name is Mesmonian. Shut up. Um, thanks so much, Olgenthar. Appreciate you. Uh, Griffin, thanks for the 10 months. And Kawaii Dawn with a brand new primer. Uh, yeah, so all of the enemy spawn points are always static. It's just what enemies are there would be random. Um, and then bosses can be shuffled to an extent. There's a couple different boss shuffle methods as well. Um, you can keep, like, the vanilla boss number. So, like, two versions of all the light world bosses uh, and then one version of all the dark world bosses. You can also s swap it so that it keeps that same format with three... Uh, Three bosses that have two copies and then seven that have one and then you can just make it like full like random uh where you could get like 13 armos fights <laughs> uh did i put that yeah i did okay active client let's close that yeah <laughs> I, uh, I'm excited for, for Dark Souls. Dark Souls will be a fun game, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I heard Beast, like, hated it for the first long while. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see. Here, Barb, if you want to feel like you're playing Dark Souls next time, uh, that's, like, my next big game once I'm done with Grand Pool World 2. So, you know, in, like... <laughs> After I stream Grand Pool World 2 for 60 more hours, because I gotta figure out your dumb puzzle. Um. <laughs> I think we, we just hit the 60 hour mark overall. Which honestly, like, I'm okay with. The fact that I, I, I am, like, at the puzzle at the 60 hour mark, I feel pretty good about. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I'm sure there's a there's like a Dark Souls MSU pack that you could just run through Link to the Past. Make it feel like you're playing a Dark Souls randomizer. <laughs> um Okay. My entrance tracker. Um notes and then I'm gonna add shops on here somewhere I guess um I guess I'll just use a, an icon on here for shops
Ooh. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, Enemizer's really fun, honestly. Like, Enemizer's a really, really good change. Um, some people don't like it because it ruins muscle memory, but, like, if you don't have any muscle memory, who fucking cares? <laughs> Um, it can be really, like, it can, it can get really difficult with, like, weapon usages and stuff like that. Um, like, you can still get forced into, like, low item. <laughs> exactly. Um, alright, let's, uh, let's just start this up, shall we? Oh, god. I need to disable that. Or if I'm, like, dragging a window somewhere and I accidentally shake it, like, three pixels, it minimizes literally fucking everything. Um, okay. Excuse me while I have a meltdown. Uh, yes, we start with boots and these seeds just for convenience purposes. Uh So, I need to remember that I need to track some shops. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, the way the dungeon door shuffle works. Um, you know, any room can be in any dungeon. Uh, we have a full check counter in the top right of the screen. 281 total checks now. Um, but, yeah. Any, any door... Any room can be in any dungeon, uh, first off. Um, and then any door that's not normally like a boss key door can be anything from just open to a bomb wall to a small key door. There's a random number of small keys per dungeon, uh, random number of chests per dungeon. Uh, big, like not all dungeons have big keys. There's a lot of, there's a lot of variants that can go into, into the dungeon door shuffle, which, oh. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> right off the bat, we have some required items in a shop. I didn't kill anything. Okay. Okay, so this is Sank. It's 13 items in Sank. So normally the compass gives you, uh, finding the... Um, <laughs> finding the compass would give you the chest counter when, when dungeon items are shuffled. Uh, but because of the, uh, random number of chests that there can be in a dungeon in this, uh, uh, uh. We just have the chest counter on by default, because fuck that. Um, so for rooms like this, dude, I'm gonna die. For rooms like this, where there's many, many exits. Um. Okay. Uh, Ice Palace. Um. Sometimes they can, so like this, this bridge up here can be 100% separated. Like, th this bridge does not have to be in this dungeon. But both of these doors down here have to be in this dungeon. Because you can hook shots from the left side to the chest. I'm dead, okay. <sighs> okay, so let's see, HC main 120 rupees. I should just save and quit. <clears throat> um, okay, so. I'm going to set up uh, a rod warp. Uh, I'm going to sink. All right, see you, Jar. Gackwell. Okay. We'll come back to that later. Um, so if we jump in this water a bunch of times... Uh, four times. Now, on the fifth time, 
instead of holding down after we jump, we hold up left, like unscrolls the, or scrolls the screen in a weird enough way um, that uh, the drop down pull doesn't know where to place you. So it places you in this nice little debug room with a bunch of money in it. Wonderful. Oh god. Yeah, if Barb knew how to do that, he could have seen my name on his stream instead of the, the dumb secondary tournament winners from falling again. Uh, Hyrule Castle. That's actually really nice. Um... <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do some stuff in Hyrule Castle. Uh, I didn't go to the, the right here. Oh, this is the Meyer room. Okay. Oh, you saw my name in the Lost Woods hideout? Nice. The classic. Uh, this is the back of Landmo 2. Should have grabbed the bomb there, probably. But that's okay. Things here. Three things there. Okay. I want to see if that was on the fairy. The fairy pack drop, but mm, did not get the 50 50. Alright, so snag this magic. Uh, also, in these seeds, we have a map item in the inventory, as you can see. Um, Essentially, that's to prevent soft locks within dungeons. Since all the doors are random, you can get stuck pretty easily. It just acts as the mirror within a dungeon. So you can get back to the entrance. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, perfect. Alright, my hands are bad. Um, nice. Okay. Get better hands. I can't, I'm sorry. Six items. This item is hard. Samaria locked. So, all right. <laughs> Wonderful. It's the coin. I don't know. I think it's just a symbol. Just so it's not like a random number there. It's just the number of checks I've done. guy. Okay. Now, uh, I need to not fall. Perfect. Alright. Uh, okay. Um... Got a couple houses we can do here. Um, I can unmark the shop at Hyrule Castle entrance. Oh, that's the witch shop, right? That was witch hut, so I should mark that. Okay, we got checkerboard. Check 
Okay. Our Hyrule Castle again. I mean, who knows where Samari is? It very well could be intended Dark World access. We just won't know for a while. Your docks lower. Trackers and updating. Uh, it's probably because I don't have anything. Wait, what am I doing? Is that better? Oh, it was minimized. That's why. Come here, man. Oh, I, I can't use bombs as a bunny. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a shop right here. Alright, whatever. Let's save and quit. That's fine. We know where a paradox entrance is. Alright, let's see what dungeon this is. Swamp. Also with 13 things. Okay, there's a big chest in this room. Yeah, big key, big key doors are always vanilla for whatever reason, like in terms of their location. Um, so if a door, like if you find a room and there's... An... Hera. Alright, we'll be back. Um... I want to see what the other direction is in here first. I really should grab this heart without dying. Spin attacks, by the way, Barb. That's how you deal with those idiots. Just oh, 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 the best, the best door check of all time. Spin attacks is how you deal with those fuckers. Oh, okay. All right, so that's useless. Oh. All right. So far, so good. I could go back into Hyrule Castle with that one small key I have, but it's way out of logic at the moment. So let's just make our way to entrances here. Go to Eastern. Sick kid. Okay. Shield. Hint. Row pegs. Ooh, that's a good hint. Good hint. Kind of shield though progress for shop we're probably never gonna find out uh so Nice. 
on porch. Connector. I don't like this connector. What's going? Uh, it does not. Food goes no. Uh, so this is all done with advanced placement logic, which can require some dark rooms being in logic with a fire rod, but you always need some sort of fire source no matter what. Oh god. Uh, take me to Death Mountain. K45. Air Big is really nice. old man cave this will take me to death mountain this one's a less annoying connector though because it gives me an extra saving quit point so i'm okay with this one okay, it took me right there. i'll see if i can see walk Log. thanks all for right. all the great content and need out You got thanks for the 17 months. <laughs> Alright, both ice rod caves. Right next to each other. Wonderful. Uh yes, that's a check count. <clears throat> oh shit. So, yeah, the total check count for this specific seed is 281. Normally 216 plus 33 extra for um, 33 extra for the enemies and pot small keys that drop. Those are shuffled. And now there's also 11 shops that have items shuffled as well. <clears throat> I think 281 is like barely over a standard zooter still. Suitors are like 263, I think. So, you know, this is nothing. Map on spec. Okay. okay we've only found one shop so far, and we bought it out already because it had a sword. Our container in a small key. Um, Meyer with eight things, huh? Community challenge! Oh my god, you guys, boost the stream! It really helps me out. I actually don't even, like, I have not noticed anything significant happen when the stream is boosted, so. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch, for this amazing feature. Are we boosted? Exactly. Yo, 90 Flow 90, thanks to the brand new Prime Gamer sub. Appreciate a lot. Welcome to the Bug Farm. Hope you enjoy those emails. These towns. So one thing about uh, about Link to the Past is a lot of the doors are uh, loaded via super tile, which is like a two by two square of rooms, and it loads all those rooms simultaneously. So a lot of these doors, I know what's on the other side because it's vanilla. Um, oh god, uh, we have 
seven eight. And thanks for the 16 months. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, I would like more arrows. I'm being quite honest. If I get some more arrows, I can do that. Easy. I did not know there were arrows in there. Guys drop bombs. I don't know about the Gibdos though. Magic. Please get around this dumb statue. Um, I probably, I don't know, man, whatever. Uh, I use Pug HUD for Emo Tracker. It's one that, like, Futon, Futon developed for me, question mark? Uh, I don't know. I asked, Futon offered to, to make a pack for me because I didn't like the base Emo Tracker pack. So I, like, helped design choices and stuff like that. Oh, that sucks. But I didn't actually make anything. Yet. Dude, I'm fucking dumb. God. I don't want to leave, though. gonna get this these arrows a couple times <laughs> I just don't want to leave I'd rather just beat the boss that way it's just everything else is locked by a small key and or fire source and like the only other way for me to go is currently small key locked Uh, push pins, thanks for 15 months. Appreciate it. <sighs> Alright, so we still don't have enough arrows to straight up just, like, beat Viddy. You need 35 in total. Assuming you don't miss. So we're still gonna beat up on some of the islands. One dead already, we've saved three arrows. Two dead, save six. Definitely have enough now. Okay. 
Okay. <coughs> uh, pendant. Okay. So we're all done on Death Mountain. We have Dark World Death Mountain to do. That's fine. Knowing that's a pendant is is a okay. Okay, so that's two shops. <clears throat> Out of eleven. you can buy as a bunny. You can interact with that kind of stuff as a bunny in the normal game. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So, Blind's house is a uh... That's a shop. We'll put that there. Nice turtle rock. Dude, turtle rock. Oh, dude, this can take forever for me to die. Go through the back of uh, that. All right, TRL is dead. Yeah, so potion refills are shuffled throughout the worlds, um, but one of each potion has to be in a shop somewhere uh, to guarantee that potions are infinitely purchasable. Talking to NPCs is still normal. Alright, that uh that glove play could uh could pay off pretty handily. It's very out of logic at the moment. Okay, so we got three two more entrances to do over here. We have this one and then Agina's cave. change it whatsoever. Uh, no. Uh, the music files are all hosted on my end. And then I just put the seed in the same folder with all the music files, and I just need to name the seed the same name as, like, the, the root name of the music files. Um, wow. It's convenient. 
So like my folder here is cadence. All the packs are like cadence and then like numbers afterwards. And so I just need to put a ROM that's named cadence in the, the folder where all that other shit is. Uh, yes, it's doable on emulator as well. I don't, I know nothing about setting it up on emulator because I've never done it, but it is doable on emulator. Okay. Let's take this, and then we're going to go to Cacwell. Let's take this compass. So compass has a little less usability since we have the default chest counts on. Um, one thing that the compass does do uh, is it blinks a red square on screen when you're next to the room with the boss. Will I do the skull dive if I can? That means. What does a shop sell if you buy all of the items? Nothing, probably. Do I keep a spare SNES? Um, so I have. If this SNES dies, I would. Uh, I wouldn't be fucked. <laughs> but uh, I don't have another RGB modded SNES available. I would just get another one made. Um, I do have an S Video modded SNES available that I take with me on trips and stuff like that. The glitch where you walk on water for the small key in Water Palace. Okay, so Skull Dive made me think of the dungeon Skull Dive. Uh, I mean, water walking. And yeah, I mean, water walking is very unlikely to be used in this because dungeons are shuffled. Um, but I mean, I have a video on it. Graveyard is the thief. The sword. Oh. Yeah, flooding a flooding a key in swamp is something that can happen if you. It can only happen if you go in with a hookshot already, and you know it happens sometimes. I mean, especially you know, Barb not really knowing what he's doing. Having the hook shot earlier than intended in that dungeon can lead to the soft lock, but it's a very easy fix. Can you believe it took Barb like three times as long to even find a sword? What a noob. <laughs> You're tired about hearing. Same Barb. <laughs> oh my god, Andy, did you see Barb is doing a randomizer? Oh my god, Barb playing Zelda and Andy playing Mario? What year is it? Oh my god, Andy. Barb had an aga required seed, Keck W. Uh, <laughs> that was my stream yesterday. It's alright, it's it's inevitable. Oh, this is a big Hera. Holy shit. Hera's usually not that big. Holy mother of God. Um, oh, this has money. Right. 
Okay, getting all that money was way smoother than I thought it would be. Oh, hell yeah, give me the ball. I hate this game. Didn't even give me a chance. It's all right, we know exactly where that is. So. That's a small key save, which is even better. Is the yellow thing? I don't know. Just a, a symbol. Uh, that symbol is actually like the act of a heart refilling. It's like a, a, a perpendicular heart. It just normally flips too fast for you to even tell. Okay, that big chest is in here. Okay, on the fire source. Can drop down here. that symbol's there. That's a new addition. Normally there's nothing there. Okay, red shield is on Moldor. Okay, that's really nice, actually. Mm. Mm. Let's go back this way. This stairwell is also random. if I go to the left up there. I'll use a small key. Uh, let's, before I do that, let's check uh, what's down here before I waste a small key. Oh, that was a mistake. Nope. See ya. <laughs> um, Uh, part of it is my, you know, I'm just like, you know, I've done a bunch of these seeds, so I'm kind of like, you know, not prepared, but like, I know what information I need to keep track of and stuff like that, and also I like, I have a generally good sense of direction, I guess. <clears throat> okay, that's another small key saved. That's two small keys saved in total. Okay, so the only small key I... That, that stair was randomized. Shit. 
Hmm. I don't want to use a small key right now. They're too valuable. With where this dungeon is, uh, it's much more important that I uh, just don't. Okay, so we can't kill either of these guys for chest right now, but we can. I should have done this first. Oh, perfect. It's a much better small key to use. <laughs> Just need this not to be locked. Good. Okay. So yeah, this chest, you know, assuming that it this is this room has three checks in it, which is big. Um, so saving that small key was definitely the right decision. Just led to money, but money is very important. I am a okay how that went down. Yeah, I don't know how the shields work, so. Um, I just know there's a lot of them now. Yeah, there's a bunch of stairwells I still haven't found as well. Um, uh, yes. If you type in exclamation mark shop sanity and go to that link, there is a, a price scaling um, chart there. There's like a minimum and maximum certain certain things can be depending upon their importance. Honestly, with only two small keys in a dungeon with 26 chests, the fact that I was able to do 19 of them, there's still like one more area I could go to. Uh, that's fine. This early beating Hera with, for a green pendant is whatever. Uh, whenever I find Sahashula, I can. That'll just be done, you know? So that's that's a okay. Oh head and logic. One more pendant, so. We're gonna go back through the the bottom of uh Oh the bottom of that GT room. I just gotta remember how we got there. Um, other than that, God. I know of a lot of small key doors, but... I fell here, I think. I think it was this way. Uh, this might be entirely... Okay. Good. <laughs> I was beginning to doubt myself. After I just talked about it, I had a decent memory about this kind of stuff. I was starting to doubt myself. That doesn't, that could have been a, a shop shield, so there's like a thousand shields in this mode. This room is in here. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, okay, so... I have a pretty general idea of where that will be. Uh, we'll figure out how to get back there later. I don't really care right now. I don't have a small key, so. But, uh, yeah, I have a general, I, I have a good idea of where that room will be. And that's four more things, which means there's only two more left in that dungeon. Uh, which is perfect. Okay. Rock. It's gonna lead to the boss. Nope. Leads to two more checks, though. Turtle Rock entrance. Of course, it's somewhere I can't go back in. Yeah, the shop shields have no, uh, they have no effect on the three progressive shields that are placed. It's not a big deal. I have the mirror, so it's really a non-issue. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of un like I had to do this side of Hyrule or Light World from bottom to top instead of top to bottom. No biggie. Uh, yes, you start with uh, you start with boots and these seeds just for a convenience thing. house to do over here oh <sighs> oh okay so the only unknown for this room is upper which I could do right now oh no I'm a bunny I'm just kidding I cannot do this I need the hint though that's a fantastic hint. Spike Cave Ice Rod. You can hover it, but as a bunny, when you touch the edge of the hole, you lose super bunny state, so you wouldn't be able to anymore. Well, I can do it now. Um, perfect. Blind moon pole get. Alright. Just need to start before the ledge. Interesting. I'm pretty sure touching the ledge at all generally makes you lose super bunny state. But I, I'd have to try it. I just know that touching a ledge makes you lose super running state, but maybe if you're like already dashing or something, it still works. So like you don't give the game enough time to to like put you back into regular bunny state. I don't know. That could be a possibility. Everything's okay. No, it's just the, the same as entrance shuffle hints. Uh, display fall on the floor.
Mega Man is down for the count. Oh, there's new hints for shops. That's pretty cool. Um... <coughs> El Castle. Uh, Chicken House. I've also done Spec Cave. Okay. Mega Man is down for the count. He's gone forever. Uh, there's not. I've never seen more than A, like the letter A keys, uh, for any dungeon. Uh, Like, there's a limit because there's only 60 keys. But other than that, where's the smith? Uh, on the way to Eastern. Like that. Um, I haven't done any of Kakariko yet. I'm throwing myself off. Legends say we had a B keys. Hell yeah. Ooh, nice. Uh... Okay, so Paradox Mid is here. We can do that. Fog. Spell Woods. I think that's four shops. Might be five. I think it's five. Ooh, that's really good. Paradox is done, and Paradox is fucking loaded. Oh my god, I just realized what shop sanity in the title map. Andy Sip. Okay. Sanity is like a brand new thing in a link to the past. As of like maybe less than a week ago. Less than a week ago. Uh, exclamation mark shop sanity is all the info you could ever want. Look at, the, look at how baby this GT is. It's so small. It's so cute. Those are just ice traps. They're not like, they're fake items, but they're actually ice traps. There's not really an equivalent to an ice trap. 
in. Uh, there's not really uh, a link to the path that goes into that. Can you find that soundtrack? I mean, like, in general, or to play with your Link to the Past randomizers? So, I don't, I don't know what's on the pyramid. I've only checked three drop-downs so far. Uh, so... Also a small key and up. Ice was hard locked by a small key, I think, right? Yes. So that's good. Oh. You know the game soundtrack here's some nice remixes. I mean, these are from a game, like Cadence of Hyrule. Like, they're, they are remixes, but they're, come on. They are from a specific game. They're remixes of the music and Crypt of the Necrodancer, not Crypt of the Necrodancer. Yeah. Crypt of the Necrodancer music. Sorry, my brain turned off. Um, okay, so this is the only other direction for me to go without a small key. Uh, an item in here. Small. Here, uh, small. Okay, so we need a small key. Uh, small key to progress anywhere in this dungeon. So, well, yeah, let's just kill the boss. Bug it. Well, good. Um, there's no guarantee that this one's useful. It's like a 1 in 5 20% chance that this is not useful. Just we haven't found the... Uh, nice, the fairy drop yet. about this is we get pyramid items we get the pyramid drop down and we can also mirror to the top of hyrule castle here a 
Let me get math. Okay. Less perfect. That's fine. Uh, so the maps actually give you uh, how many small keys there are in the dungeon here. Let's mirror first. Um. Okay, that's six shops. Okay, and that's not a bottle, that's a B in a bottle. Um, so no point in buying it because I have no bottles. Wow, hot. It's a small pod, too. We only have one of the four small keys, though, but hopefully we can get the flutes. That'd be really nice. direction to go in this room and then we're done so this dungeon might just be straight for the one when am i going to get the golden sword oh uh, well this is a randomizer so it's not really up to me Flipper walked out of the dungeon. Where was this? Over here, right. Okay. Uh, pod. I mean, for science, I can try and buy this bottle. Let's see what happens. Yep. Just, uh, let's buy the free money, though. It's Ganon. Kind of sucks. Also good though, because that means that I needed to do that. So it's fine with me. All right, let's do this. We have a mirror now, so we can do all of this upper death mountain shit. Uh, we can also do blind's house. Drop downs needing to be mixed with drop downs. Uh, uh, just means that you know, it's relatively likely that you're that they, some drop down will be vanilla. You know, uh, we got a desert small. Hello, futon. Alright guys, how many crystals do you think GT is going to be? Get out of my way. <sighs> it's not zero. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just 
to your taxes? Hell yeah. Did I do both of these caves or oh yeah one was a shop okay well i already have the hair in it so it doesn't really matter yeah, my two hints are now uh unimportant i know i found both of them already okay let's do this Raspberries were on sale at the grocery store, so we bought a we bought a handful. The shop small shields just red, I guess. Look, shine cave is done. I think this was nothing, but I'm gonna get it. actually really nice because I can check the one other cave on East Death Mountain and then we're done. So that's actually really, really sick. Wait. I can get that really quickly once I uh, get Wake, so that's why having Hammer and Mitts already, I can check Turtle Rock entrance whenever I get the medallion. Oh, okay, if you're in. That makes sense. Swamp was hard to smoke key locked. So let's make a note of that. Because I don't have any yet. You know. Okay, you're good. Put one on your bone. You're fine. I just couldn't tell. Wow. That's seven shots? Dude, I really should have kept better track of my shots. <laughs> uh, let's just do this real quick. What is shop sanity in Link to the Past? The shops have items. When did this come out? Uh, it's not out officially. But it uh, originally got developed like less than a week ago. Hyrule Castle Big Key. It's actually more interesting than I thought it would be. So far. I think the the money... Like, I haven't farmed any money at all, and I have 1,100 rupees already. So I think the money is working out better than I thought it would. Uh, 
sucks. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to do it. Like, this is just out in the door shuffle client, but you don't need to randomize doors in the door shuffle client. It's just an external randomizer generator that just has unofficial settings that you can use, but you're not forced to use them at all. I mean, you save and quit and go straight to Zora and just scum your rupees. No big deal. I want to go this way. Um. Hey guys, are you ready for the one hour and ten minute Gakariko check? I don't know if I ever checked this house or not. I did. Okay. I didn't mark it. I got Moon Pearl at race game and I had Mitts, so I just went straight into Village of Outcast, which led me to GT, which led me to killing Aghanim. So I just never mirrored here. But I did get the flute after... I've, I got the flute before checking here because of it. all oh, eat ass. Um, Alright, anyways. Uh, Smith dropped down is shit. Uh, hammer pegs. Here's small. Cool. Cool beans. Less useful hint. We've already gotten a ton of useful hints, so not surprising. Yo, Kegwin, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate it a lot. Hope you uh, enjoy the new emos. That uh, freaked me out a little bit. For me. Um, because a regular viewer from a long time ago of mine is also named Kegwin, but it's with an E instead of an I, and I just, it just really threw me off for like a, a split second. <laughs> But yeah, I appreciate it. Welcome to Pokemon, dude. Thanks for the Bezos bucks. Wow, all the hints are here. Yeah, see who needs these hints. They've all been garbage. I didn't see a resub. Oh, shit. Snacky, thanks for the 49 months in a row. I appreciate it a lot. My bad. My sincerest apologies. Kekwa. Kekwa. Skull small and some hosh rolls are done. I didn't want to talk to you. Well, so there's still a couple things that I haven't bought. I still need to buy the merchant item. I still need to open a pod. So there's a handful of things that I do still need to spend money on. Um, and like, if you're if you're including money in logic, you know it's really hard to like assume no spending happens at all. And so like, what the logic does it is it, is, it assumes you don't spend any money until you get hard locked by spending money. 
and then it assumes that everything at that time is purchasable with money available. Um, like, there's not really a good way to logically include money. He's cheaper than the small keys. Castle Tower is also really nice. Castle Tower, Ganon's Tower, Pod. I think that's eight shots. Yeah, we found no major items yet. Mostly small items in shops for money, so. Or like less major progression items, I should say. Uncle. Okay, so that means Lumberjack is the bad drop down. Small. Swamp Small, that was locking me out of that dungeon. <laughs> well, I mean, the stuff that's been relatively cheap has been relatively menial things. Like, you have no idea what the usefulness of uh, small keys or big keys in a dungeon are, especially in this kind of mode. You know? So... <clears throat> Uh, you lose it when you get hit, when you press the dash button, uh, or transition to a new area. I don't have a big key. Yeah. Like, or like the, the second entrance I checked was a shop that I didn't have enough money to buy a sword for, you know? So I needed to go get money to go get my first weapon. Like obviously mid and like, you know, there's a chance you're gonna find a ton of money and not really worry about it. There's also a chance you don't. It goes both ways. One more direction to go from this entrance. 
How do you know which big keys need for the test? So the top left of the screen tells you what dungeon I'm in. All the big keys, all the big key things for this dungeon are uh, locked by the Aga Tower big key, or Castle Tower big key. Uh, and then we need flippers for right and top right. Okay. I guess still that spiral cave to do over there, which is also a connector. Um, I found Meyer shit. I'm pretty sure. Ether, not even randomized. Okay, this is the last turtle rock entrance. Okay, there's one more item in this dungeon. Besides the boss. And the boss might just be literally up here. No, not quite. Okay. Oh, so we have left in that room, left in that room. explore this a little bit more just because um, finding the boss is very important. Um, I know exactly I, I do not mean to just fuck. snap uh, snap use that small key. There's probably not too many more small keys for this dungeon if I'm being honest. But is this the other door? Let's go back this way. Oh, this is probably the boss. If I had to guess, this is gonna be the boss. Okay. Is this the boss? What? I can't believe that none of these are the boss. Are these gonna be linked? No. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of useless fucking rooms. Oh my god. Okay, it's not locked. This is going to be a long trek to find the boss. I hate sword beams. <sighs> okay, so... Boss... Oh, 
please be try next dude. Thank you. Okay. Only, uh, there's one more Hyrule Castle engine besides this one. Oh, hell yeah. Show me the money. Okay, not action. Give me good items. Alright, anyways. Um... detection. Fire boomerang is not included on the shop. You're asking the wrong dude. Desert entrance at the wall. Is this a small key door? No. Okay. South is a big chest, but I can't go that way, so stairwell has to take me there. This combo's not bad. Big chest? No. I know the big chest is the GT big chest is one thing. So that's six. This is gonna be eight. Um, so that means there's three more things and then the boss. We've only done one entrance to this dungeon. Thanks, video game. orientations like incorrect okay so we have this big chest small chest we can't get we know where the boss is now can't go back that way I forgot oh perfect oh my god um <laughs> Because I wanted to check that direction. Um, I need to find a peg switch. Uh, red blinking block means that I'm uh, the boss is connected to the room I'm in. Where did I see a peg switch? Two directions to check in here still. Uh,
good. If you guys get Barb at 20,000 subs, maybe he'll do this shit for his next Link to the Past randomizer. Alright, we're gonna prioritize uh, an item in the box. And there's only one other thing left. Imagine Barb stumbling his, stumbling his ass through this shit. Okay, no, he's doing a. He agreed to do another randomizer if he gets 10k. Again. Okay, we're gonna. I mean, it might be the red pendant. There's no way to know. Do I want to use this one? I just want smalls, really nice. Oh, hell yeah. That's the last item. Perfect. Really fucking clutch. It is very concerning that I have almost everything in this dungeon, and I have only found one entrance. Nice desert. We took 8.5 hours. Barb on his first randomizer ever? Why is that an oof? <laughs> okay, and we have another desert entrance here. Let's see where this takes me. Okay. I think oof is like my least favorite fad phrase. <laughs> People say oof the fucking everything. It's so dumb. <laughs> It's like a bit more. Eh. I don't really care about it. Okay. from no desert entrances to three desert entrances pretty much instantly. Uh, so... Small the small Look! Small and I missed one small key. But it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Knowing how many small keys I have for a dungeon doesn't matter too much. <sighs> All right. Let's see, we've done that. We can do this. Bring back tech. No. Chat left and right. It was the first thing I saw. Banned. No, it was Firestar. 
Okay, I'm still missing Hype Cave. Uh, dude, which way do I want to go? My maps. Uh, Swamp is a good crystal. Odd and Thieves are crystals. Okay. Hmm. I found Pyramid Fairy. I still have Spiral to do. Uh, I need to find Spike Cave because that has my Ice Rock. Turtle Rock. I don't need to, but it's 1 2. It's 25% chance I need that Ice Rock. Okay, last Edge Entrance being there is fine. I don't give a fuck. Um, see, I found Pod. It's straight flipper locks. Um, I haven't found Thieves Town. And I found Swamp, which is small key lock as far as I know. Well, it's small key locks. Uh, and that's it as far as I know. So. Got a lot of small keys. Swamp. Hype Cave. Ice is the pendant. Perfect. Oh, okay, we're doing that. And then we have Ice Palace Pendant. Hey, Thieves Town. Which means Crystal Crystal. And we definitely need that Ice Rod now. Uh, Thieves Town has nine things. One. It's also a uh, egg switch. Keep that in mind. <sighs> Let's go this way. I should have lit the fire rod from up there, I guess, and dropped the bomb or something. Ooh, but I definitely need the hook shot. Um, for the swamp boss. That's fine. Okay, this is two items. This way first. Oh, this is oh, super tile, right? It's a small key door. It's not. Okay. Fuck. Oh, all oh, the boss is here. Oh, no. Oh, this doesn't take me to the chest. God, this is terrible. I don't like this dungeon anymore. Falling down. Okay, uh, I haven't found the attic yet, so. Uh, okay, so we just need to find the attic uh, to beat this dungeon. And uh, I guess we might not need another small key. I'll use this one because I have to use it guaranteed no matter what at some point. Attic could be in this dungeon. Iron Castle. Uh, okay. and there's still the left door in the room above that. I can go through. This takes me to the chest. Okay. 
four things. We got one thing from the boss again. Mmm. Fine. Just use it. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, let's go the other way here. Fine. Heck yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's mirror and go back there after we hit this pig switch. That way I can get the chests. Uh, I can potentially go back to that room. Uh, blinky red light means the boss room is connected to the room that I'm in. Oh, or, you know, bigger words that sometimes I, or that I try not to use when explaining things in case people don't understand. Uh, <laughs> boss is in an, in an adjacent super tile. I learned my lesson when I started doing async races. <laughs> and half of the chat didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. So boss, we know where the boss is. We don't need any pig switch shit with that. It's fine. Okay, here's six. This ballast small key is good. Uh, I don't remember how to quickly get back. This, yeah. Uh, I got spit out of this door. Yeah, okay. So there's only one more door to go in through in this specific room. We know the boss is top right monitor hub. Is this locked? No, okay. Yeah, this is just the boss room, but we haven't found the attic yet. Perfect. Okay. That's really nice. So, still missing two things, probably small key lock. Um, okay, so... Let's see, uh, Maiden... Uh... Top... Top right... Door... And then boss, top right, up door. Okay. That's all right there for now. And then there's two more small keys. Shop. last entrance to check here. Uh, interface was GT. GT was like flipper locked or something. No, small key lock. Uh, let's go back into GT real quick. Small key to the right. Oh, right, in the Ice Palace. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the last two things which is really nice. Perfect. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I made a funny. Okay, so GT's done. Maybe shouldn't do this and uh should have done like smith chain instead since i have three uh but it's too late now we're already halfway through spinal cave there's really no other option i could make let's go nate oh So, big thing I'm looking for now is flippers. Because uh, I have a couple of dungeons that are straight flipper locked. Uh, we're looking for hookshot, because I need it to kill the swamp boss. And hookshot also puts my fire rod in Um. Oh, okay. And we're looking for Spike Cave, because it has my ice rod. Are there any connectors that are even useful to me? I guess getting to uh, Dark Shopping Mall. Uh... This is actually fine. I haven't even done Stumpy yet, dude. I don't think. I think I did Dig Game, but not Stumpy because I didn't have Pearl yet. Okay, so we have Meyer entrance, we have all of the odd area. I have catfish and dark witch huts. Um, I can sequence break my way to dark shopping mall. Uh, yeah, I played Cuphead when it got released. 
It was a fun game, but it wasn't interesting enough for me to play more than once. The way it was advertised made it seem like a like a fun like side scroller like running gun kind of game with some cool boss fights, and it was like the opposite, just boss fights with like two cool side scroller running gun kind of levels. And I was pretty disappointed, not gonna lie. Um, I don't want to do this way. But it was still fun. I think it took me like four hours to beat or something. for like s ranks and stuff like that on the bosses um I'll probably go back to swamp soon oh. all right let's see if this works Butter sword, we found it. Oh my god. Uh, I finally did Spiral Cave also, so I can mark that off. I'm only missing Super Bunny, Graveyard Ledge, and Spike Cave. Skull Woods is here. Can't go this way. This bullet has 11 things. Did I go in this? This was a fairy, right? Okay. So, Skull Woods from the PK uh, required. We don't necessarily need to go through that Skullwoods entrance. This is the other side of Bumper. Okay. Um, but it's important to note because I might need to go that way for the boss. Maybe. There's a chance. Eastern. Oh my god. I need Thieves Town Smalls. I need Eastern Smalls. Well, I mean, that hint's guaranteed to be somewhere. There's always a hint about the crack floor. That sucks. Um, at the very least, uh, I'm pretty sure I can figure out. There's only two small key doors, right? 
It was a relatively large dungeon, but it shouldn't be too difficult to find. I can't believe I only have one crystal still. So. Swamp and Turtle Rock. Shots of pond entrance. Guarantees that Spike Cave is not Pyramid Fairy entrance, which is really nice. That was one thing I was worried about. Um, okay, so let me check this entrance and then go up to Catfish. A hint! Can we get any more good hints? Um, Ice Palace Flipper Locks. Oh, that was a small key lock. Okay, so Ice Palace is something I want to go back to. There's 10 checks left. Uh, Swamp has 10 checks as well. Um, Era has 6. Aga Tower has 13. Eastern, we need a small key to do anything else in... I guess let's just save and quit from Catfish, and, uh... And, uh, go back to Swamp. That's really good. Um, why did I flute? Uh, let's just do Ether Tablet, I guess, since we had the flute open already. There's not that many more entrances to check for this ice rod. Um, Meyer entrance, GT entrance, Turtle Rock entrance, and, P and Pyramid Fairy is not eligible. So, uh, pretty likely this is just available. Uh, you turn on the pallet shuttle. That was for. <laughs> um, okay. Whatever. Who cares? Alright, we have five. Yep. Ugh. Um, how many thieves falls do I have? Okay. I mistracked that. How did I kill all those? Tower had uh, multiple big chests, two big chests, and a big key door for me to go through. Oh, there's that item too. I forgot about that one. So that that entrance, I should say. So that might be Spike Cave. Mirrored. I couldn't remember what the first room of the dungeon was. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
God, the switch. want to use my magic here. So. <clears throat> Text speech is fun and so are you Andy Cool. Uh, I'm Draconia. Oops. Uh, thanks for the 25 months, man. Appreciate you. Okay, that's nine. I did that to Patty's stream, except at the end. Or no, I said your test results are in and did all that stuff. And then said, yep, you got small pee pee. And that was it. Okay, I need to go this way. And find a switch. How am I supposed to get through this room? Switch in this room, right? Okay. Um. Alright, this room was like hard switch lock. Oh, I'm stupid. We can just do this. So... We need a small key. A uh, small key through 
south. GT torches. Okay. Okay, I should go into the Skullwoods drop at some point. Um, so I, you know, we know that Skull Three is a, a chest. First. Hmm. Ooh, so funny. I'll take it. How bad is Shop Sanding? It's honestly not as bad as I thought. Um we get a pretty like good early money seed and then um we also haven't really had anything super expensive in the shops like you can have so uh, it hasn't really been that bad okay um that's what i was expecting honestly I mean, you just do that, and Meyer Entrance or Total Rock Entrance. That's all that's left. So. Uh, we have the Smith Chain to do in terms of, like, actual raw item checks. Um, uh, it already is a thing. One of the top lines, if you click on the document that's linked in the Shop Sanity command, says uh multi-world compatible uh i had a uh, sword a glove and like the three besides keys for the big shop items <laughs> yeah <laughs> how the headphone paste okay we don't need big keys that entrance is really nice. Price is random. If you look at the document, it'll probably answer your question. small keys. Asty Fairy can have any two items, yes. Key save, so that's all right. We used a small key. I used two small keys to save one, so not really that great. Pretty good, Creelman. How about yourself? Yeah. 
Let's go in a different entrance. Dude, shine. What? What did that say? Dude, shine. Really cool. I like that. Um, glad I can help entertain you. Above. The boss is to the north. Let's go this way. Is this gonna be Spike Cave? Either Spike Cave or Graveyard Ledge. So it's either Quake Locked or uh, we can access it right now. That also pretty much tells me that Pyramid Fairy entrance is pretty much trash. Okay, so there's two items at the boss, which leaves eight. This is gonna be nine. So everything left is dropped down later. Let's see if we can... Like, if we can full clear Skull Woods with half of the small keys, that'd be really, really solid. are pretty good. Yo, nice, 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 nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we haven't found anything too crazy in shops, so everything's been pretty cheap. We've had like a couple things that have been a hundred rupees, uh, but other than that, oh, that's a small key door, that's really nice. Team left. So we have right and back check after this one. Okay, this is locked door. Nice. Okay, so that's one item. This might actually lead straight to the other item. Um, be a downward door, and it's not locked, so we can go check it for free. Oh. Then but all. I forgot that I came in here through drop down hole. Okay, um. How do I get out? such thing as a bad seed. I don't know. I'm just gonna say quick. <sighs> Alright. Please don't be quake locked.
terms of like normal rando, probably like a vanilla seed would be really, really shit. Like vanilla major items. Uh, yeah, so it's locked by Quake. Seeds where I use like the quote unquote worst settings. Um, and uh, the first one I did of those took me like almost nine hours. Call them nightmare randomizers. Uh, okay, so that was uh the last Hyrule Castle entrance. Uh, fuck. Flippers, man. Okay, so I can do mushroom. Uh, after I do this, I'm gonna go back to Aga Tower, actually, because it's right here. I, that's a small key door that I... Okay, I need to remember there's a, a downward-facing small key door somewhere, because it's gonna lead there. Um... That wasn't a randomizer. That was a vanilla game. That door. Okay, so... We can finish this one. Uh, I just need to find my way back to the other small key door. Like, there's a chance that I'm wrong about that stuff, about those, that door being linked. I'm pretty sure the other door was not facing up or down. If it is, I have to 50-50 it. If I find the other locked door and it is up or down as well, I can just save my game and uh, not just fucking guess. What was down this way? Oh, this is the locked door. Right. Yeah, let's use this. Perfect. Okay. So, I'm glad I remembered that small key door when I came in here. Ooh. That's the last item. Okay, so I need to hit the... Hey. Yeah, there's one item in the attic and the ball. Don't need any more small keys. So I need to go <sighs> through. I need to get back to uh... <clears throat> uh, I need to get back to that Thieves Town hallway room. Uh, 
don't know. I've never been a huge fan of Plandos. Just because, like, I don't know. It, it, they always feel less random. Just because, like, shit is placed, you know, intentionally. Uh, they're just not as fun. Some of the some of the Wizard Plandos that he made were, are pretty interesting just because they like there's game mechanic changes. Like the one of the ones that I did that was really really fun of Wizard was he made the mirror work both ways. Um, so like you could mirror from Light World to Dark World and Dark World to Light World, and that led to a lot of really really cool shit. Um, and yeah, like you know if somebody made a like that was the one thing like you know. One of the reasons why I don't do, like, Hey, streamer, play this seed. It was really fun. Because, like, I know it's going to be a bad seed, so I'm going to play it differently, assuming, you know, that, like, there's a bad placement uh, item somewhere. Uh, Red Linking Square means the boss is connected to my super tile. Like, shit, if someone's like, this seed was really bad, Andy, I want to see how you do it. Then, like, you know, I try, I would, you know, try to actively play like I would normally, but, like, if I didn't care about that, then I would just fucking, uh, you know, like, dive swamp without a hammer for the hammer or something. Like. So, yeah, it's... You know, not super fun. And then, like, if I try to play it, like, as I would normally with quote-unquote good decisions, you know, you end up last location in progression. Stupid enemies. Like, man, this one check in Swamp's available, and I'm gonna do other stuff, because that's a bad check. Uh, yes, it has to be. What was that key for? Here, okay. <sighs> run over the divider uh it's a it's the same kind of concept as the as a door extension uh i mean it is a door extension but it's not the same kind of concept uh you basically just need to be like one pixel in you, you buffer one frame upwards and then hit left and dash at the same time Got one from the. Got one of what? Game. <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about already. Dude, when I start like rambling about shit, <laughs> I forget so much. Uh, flippers are top right. This is the big key. Oh, okay. Out of here. Uh, let's go back in this warp. Let's do some and then, uh... Do not dungeon and bosses like Ice Armos trigger it also. Trigger boss music? No. They, it, uh, it used to, actually. Uh, they used to spawn heart containers. Uh, but that has since been fixed. Thankfully. What's up, Sasha? Welcome. Uh, four, I guess? I don't know what the fastest way to this cave is, whether it's including four or including five. Uh, I think it's four. It's pretty close. Super Metroid actually has something like that, Grovax. Where uh, every door transition changes your input, like your uh, controls. Uh, they have like regular mode where like D-pad stuff is always on the D-pad, but it changes like which does what. 
There's also a mode that just shuffles every button. So like D-pad left could be on X and D-pad Y could be on, or right could be on select, shit like that. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, it's fun though. And I enjoy dumb shit like that. I mean, crowd controls doesn't randomly change your controls. There's, like, a limit to what that can do. Yeah, so, like, let's say you go through a... <laughs> let's say you go through, like, a left door, right? <laughs> and then you accidentally, like, go back through it. Your, your controls will change again, and that happens a good bit. You also pause almost every room. RL on each other's controls. All right, we're both gonna make new accounts and we're gonna see how it goes, all right, Jeremy? You do my controls and I do your controls. <laughs> all right, so that's done. <sighs> Road to SSL. Road to fucking unranked. So bad that lose rank game tells us to go back to unranked play and play with the cash we're not good enough for rank yet Hammer next, this is guaranteed to be Spike Cave. Yes, shop sanity increases the checks. The big thing for me right now is that hookshot locks the fire rod, so we're we're sequence breaking a little bit, which is okay with me. I don't, you know, I don't care. Which hut being empty was so fucking weird. <laughs> oh god. Um I have no notes other than I needed a small key for this door, so. so. We got a lot of exploring to do in this dungeon. I would also greatly like magic. I have a green potion. Small. I have a bunch of Meyer Smalls now. All of these enemies are in the bomb pack. video game. Hey, I need magic. Here you go, son. Uh, okay, boss is sound. Okay. 
This room also has magic in it, so we would have been fine anyway. Okay, so this is item number six. There's one on the boss, obviously. For seven, so there's five un uh, unknown things left. Obviously can't be hookshot, but there's the other three sound key, which we don't need. Oh, dude. Okay, before I forget, I want to go back to Mini Mold Arm Room. And drop down, because I will forget. Perfect. Okay, two unaccounted for things. Those are my favorite transitions now because the the uh, <laughs> the stairs are shuffled. Not quite every door, Dark and Spirit, but uh, most doors, yes. Right now we're technically in Ice Palace, and that's very much Turtle Rock Room. But those two rooms were vanilla in terms of being next to each other due to the way the game loads. Same thing with these, these, you know, three rooms, the one long room and then the two rooms on the side. All four are perpetually, you know, all three are perpetually loaded at the same time, so we know that this is going to be, you know, the Aga Tower room that it normally is. There's some method to the madness, uh, but for the most part, yes, door transitions are shuffled. Uh, let me see if this is locked. This might be the last item. It is not. Okay. So that's one entrance that I can't go through. No, you're... Uh, any room that's in this dungeon is all, only in Ice Palace. Uh, always. Multiple... Uh, the same room cannot appear in multiple dungeons unless the room has, like, other doors that are inaccessible from where, from everywhere. Like, you know, there's some rooms that have, like, a bridge that's only accessible from the bridge door compared to the other doors. Um, so those could be in two separate dungeons. But, okay. Uh, so small key. <sighs> Eleven. Small key. Uh, small key from mold to drop. And then flips. Okay. I don't know what's on pedestal, so. Okay, so big things I need, Eastern Small Key. I can beat Turtle Rock. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Paw. Oh, Pod is hard locked by Flippers. So, I need Flippers, I need at least one Eastern Small Key, and I need a Hookshot. 
that I watched Barb's Rando. I watched some of it. God streamer, is this a pedestal seed? Nope. <sighs> I'm gonna get this compass. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, because I know exactly where that fucking boss is. <laughs> I wasn't even a progressive shield, that was the shop red shield. Um... Uh, overall transitions are not shuffled, no. I don't want us to try that. Probably just a pain in the ass to actually. We have all of the small keys for this dungeon. Holy fuck. Do I have any notes about where things are in here? No. I do know that there's a couple stairwells I never found, uh, which we're just gonna go do now. Let's uh, drop down. Uh. <laughs> oh fuck. This is gonna drop me all the way. No. I didn't wanna do that. Oh, let's just meet her, dude. Fuck it. I, uh, if you fall down there to not double fall, you need to step on the star switch first. Uh, the ped, the lumberjack tree changes by killing Aghanim. What to know what? Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go this way. Uh, I just have to think a lot. Okay, this was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. I use my brain a lot. I have to think. Eastern? Fuck, man. Being honest. <sighs> oh, Freezor is one chest that's left in here. <clears throat> um, there's one thing left. Okay, and then freeze order. I just need to remember how to get the freeze order. Uh, I guess let's just continue on. Uh, fuck. Uh, no, let's go back. That'll probably be the fastest way. Since it's, you know, current in my brain. So, Jake, you don't need We just need to go north. In, uh, 
in the big spike room and big spike ice palace room. <clears throat> this is the curiosity shop shield is a free item. like if you get your shield stolen does it mess with the progressive shields is that what you're asking so the answer is no okay hair is done let's go to beat turtle rock can't have bookshop, but it can have flippers. Uh, in terms of this seed, or like in general with shop sanity on, uh, no idea. There's no guarantee that you could get a red shield back. Red shield does nothing logically though, so it doesn't really matter that much. I was going into the desert entrance. Let's done. What a game. Is there a seed that is considered incompatible? Logic is put in place to make sure seats all seats are completed. to the past no logic seeds uh if they're not beatable that means you don't know enough uh pretty much every there's never been a situation in a logic seed that has been found to be unbeatable yet uh from the you know not super large amount of people that do low no logic seeds Uh, no, even with, you don't need EG for no logic seeds.
<sighs> wow, okay, we're done. This is probably gonna have all the goods. Yeah. Wow, it literally had all the fucking goods. Is it also gonna have an eastern small key? No, okay. <laughs> okay. So we need an eastern palace small key for go mode. Yay! What's up, Dad? A play? Did you get in here in time to see me just now? Go back to Meyer. Be getting Fire Rod without a hook shot probably uh, significantly prolongs uh, me getting the flippers and that hook shot. Uh, so it's kind of unfortunate. Everything else, I feel like I did really well this seed. Breaking, breaking the logic that way, though. And then not really caring about playing that way. Uh, is unfortunate. But that's how it goes. It's been tried. I've ever tried to clip above the bridge that Hobo is under with Samaria. What do you mean? You don't get me. I got Ice Rod not too long ago. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um, you can, you can ledge clip to get to Hobo early without swimming. Uh, but it doesn't need Samaria, if that's what you're talking about. Is everything okay over there? trigger a fake flipper from a ledge clip instead of, you know, doing it another way. But you can't really clip through floors with Samaria. Unless you're asking something completely different. I guess I don't know. Just give me an Eastern Small, dude. Which fucked, aren't I? Oh my god, I finally found one. Yep. Okay, well that might be go mode. You data plate, but I didn't go into Kakariko until the uh, one hour and eleven minute mark. Which ended up being fine. Like there wasn't anything super crazy in Kakariko. It was mostly like hints. Uh, I right, see, you, Mr. Jink. Ooh, boss is right here. 
close enough. Uh, I just didn't really understand what you were asking. Uh, Dwayne. This was fun though. I think, I don't know, I didn't really get a, a good feel for Shop Sanity just because nothing was expensive. Uh, and like I was never short on money in this specific in instance. Uh, just Solsky, I think. <clears throat> One Crab Lake. Alright. So if I have enough small keys to beat Eastern, then we're good. Let me make sure that I got like, oh yeah, all the other dungeons are done, so yeah. The only boss I didn't beat is, uh, oh, there's two small keys. Shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a monk S, dude. I'm a little spooked. So scared, dude. Oh, thank the Lord. <sighs> that applied. Did you find both Eastern Smalls? Imagine if we didn't start with boots, I would be furious right now. <laughs> okay. This is a really nice eastern location. We can just dash over the pyramid. The one I found was in pod. Um, I think, so I think the plan, a plan next week is going to be racing, uh, quote unquote racing with my boy DGR Dave one morning, uh, doing some Ironmon. So leading up to that, I'll probably have like a channel point redemption thing to put people's names in for trainers and stuff like that. You guys can gas your points that way. And I guess, you know, 
We're at 246 out of 281. If I actually needed that other key, it wouldn't have been too far off. I, I, I think I needed a hookshot to do anything else in Aga Tower. One item and then also go through the swamp hub north. So I never went back in there. GG, I got second. Dataplet didn't beat me by 20 minutes. Get good, idiot. Unbelievable. Thought you were better than that. <laughs> didn't beat me by enough. Get good, nerd. That was fun though. Um, another, I think doing a couple more of these will give me a better idea on how I feel about it. Uh, to see like if money issues happen or not, or like how how I feel about the money situation. Because to see there wasn't really any money problems, but there also wasn't. There weren't too many early shops, and there weren't good items in the shops. When I joined the race channel, <laughs> when I joined the race channel, I said, "Sorry, I'm reading the dissertation on what different in shops say." And Humba's like, "Items can be in shops, and shops can be anywhere." <laughs> I said, "Thanks, Humba." And then <laughs> the Humba forfeit after I finished, and I said, "Did you check the shops, Humba? I heard the effort items." <laughs> Oh, God. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Man. <laughs> God. Yeah, absolutely destroyed. Dude, it is hot in here. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I could see myself doing a couple more of those at least. At least until I get like a good gauge. Andy. Uh, Kensho TTV, thanks for the 49 months, dude. Nice name change. Uh, so he was pretty fun. Uh, Shop Sanity didn't really add that much. Should play the AM2 rando, AM2 R rando. You know that that's banned on Twitch, right? <laughs> Game that got DMCA slash cease and desist uh, streaming that would be a bad idea for me. Two R is another Metroid Two remake. <sighs> um, it's a fan-made game that got taken down by Nintendo, partially because Nintendo was also releasing a Metroid Two remake, and partially because the dude had a donate button on his page, which is a big no-no. Making money off of a Nintendo IP. Um. Generally, Nintendo doesn't really care about ROM hacks. Like, if they did, you know, Rando wouldn't exist. SMW hacks would probably get canned. Uh, but making money off of making something like that is uh, a big no, a big no, no. Uh, Nintendo could take it down. Uh, they they don't really search for too much stuff. Um, I've been meaning to, I just, it's been skipping my mind for a long time. Um, I'll do it eventually, now that it's done, done. Um, like, my, my old, my, my, uh, my shirt, uh, used to be called Triforce of the Pugs, and it got taken down because of the word Triforce. So I think, like, as long as you don't have, like, Nintendo IP, like, names in it, they don't care too much. Like, don't have, like, Mario, Zelda in the name of your shit. But, like, I don't think they care too much otherwise. Um, as far as I know, you know. Um, but yeah, anyways. Yeah. Well, okay, so Pokemon are different, because, like... It's Nintendo, but it's more Game Freak. Like, Pokemon ROM hacks get taken down by Game Freak a ton. Um, there's a couple of big ones that got owned. Oh, heck yeah, Mancuso. I'm excited to play it one player once we finish the multiplayer playthrough. Yeah. they did, No, they, 
there's no pretty sure they guaranteed know about rando i know for a fact that they know about rando um <laughs> i mean they could nintendo most certainly could uh like, if Nintendo wanted to, you know, bring a legal battle over something like this, uh, there's basically no one that would be able to stop them. <laughs> uh, like, you know, you could take Nintendo to court, but, like, that's a lot of money. What's the name of our pet insurance? True Panion. Uh, what's that do? Yeah, I don't think Nintendo will do anything. Yeah, losing the case, like... Losing or winning the case wouldn't necessarily be the issue. Like, it would be bad if the case ended up getting won by Nintendo. But, like, being able to finance the case would be a huge issue. Uh, most likely. Uh... Um... Who's streaming? Kelsey's still streaming? I know she closed her, her door. When I was laughing like a maniac at how stupid I am. Um, oh, she cut stream. Okay. Oh, let's see. Where do I want to raid? Where my boy Pope Squidward? We haven't raided him in a while. Yeah, Juno's fine. She's sleeping. Uh, Pope Squidward, he's a chill dude. He's playing some Twilight Princess, doing some speedruns. He just went live like 30 minutes ago, so you get fresh stream speedruns. All right. Uh, go check him out. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, open spoiler seed and the uh, and the shop sanity. Uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Adios. Yo, come on, give me five hundred. Six more people join the raid. Come on, gamers. We just need five, five more. Come on. No, oh, seven more. Don't leave. Join. Six more. Come on. Get me to 500. Give me the big, beefy 500. Two more. I'm just going to press the raid button when we hit 500 on the... All right, see ya. Oh, no. We lost one.